Assalamu alaikum my sweet friends. Hi there and welcome back to another video. In today's video today I wanted to share two yummy recipe with you guys. One is for alu palak and one is for chana dal. I also share this yummy mouth-watering chutney with it and this delicious Pakistani food tastes so good with lassi, roti, chutney and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you do thumbs up let me know what you guys think down below and let's get started. So the first thing we're going to start off with is the palak for the alu palak. Now you guys can use a can of palak or you guys can boil your own fresh palak. This is about two cups of palak spinach. So I'm going to get it. I'm going to drain the water out. I'm going to put it on a board and I'm going to chop it all up really small and fine like this. I remember I always used to love helping my mom with this when I was younger. Now I'm going to get my pesto and mortar. I'm going to get a whole bunch of garlic and red chili flakes. And I'm going to go ahead and just crush them together. Now what I did was I got half of a tomato. And I went ahead and crushed up the garlic and the pepper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get about two tablespoons of oil. And I'm going to go ahead and add the garlic and the pepper. Let that just brown up for about 30 seconds to a minute. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my spinach with the tomato in together. Mixing it around like this. I added no turmeric. I added no red chili powder. The only thing I added is salt. I wanted this alu palak to have a real Khandani taste, a Pakistani taste. What I did was I got two medium potatoes. I diced them or cut them up. Gave them a quick boil for about 10 minutes. Added that in. They were already soft. So added in a few tablespoons of water, two tablespoons of ghee, and our alu palak was all done. Like I said, I wanted this to have a real khandani taste, no extra tomatoes, no extra masalas, anything like that nature. I wanted it to have that real, real yummy taste from back home. So this was all done. After that, what I did was I quickly went into the kitchen and I needed some dough, whole wheat atta. I've shared this recipe with you guys many times before. I've also gotten about three cups of dal. I pre-soaked it for about an hour and then what I did was I let it boil for about 15 to 20 minutes with a little bit of salt. Now I'm preparing the tarka for my dal. I have about two heapful tablespoons of garlic. I have two uh, green chili peppers and I have two tomatoes. I added the garlic to some oil, let that fry up for a minute. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my green chili and my tomatoes. I'm going to go ahead and give this a nice mix and oh my god this smells so good at this time guys. Now in this all I added was red chili pepper, um, powder I mean, um, turmeric and salt. The three ingredients that I used for this dal. I don't like to use a lot of masalas in most of my cooking and a lot of um, you guys already know that I don't use all these fancy masalas and all that. Um, after that, I just went ahead and added in my dal that was already boiling and it was not too soft and not too hard. So it was just perfect. You want to check it with your finger and strain the water out and then pour the dal into the tarka like this. And this is chana dal. So just mix everything up together just like this and your dal is made in just practically minutes guys. We prepare a tarka, our dal is already boiled and then we add it in and then that's it. You guys can add a few tablespoons of water or then just remove from the flame. Now I went ahead and made the balls or the pires for the roti, prepared all the rutiya so those were cooking and my palak and my dal was ready in no time. Now I'm going to prepare a yummy chutney. My grandma used to make this back home in Pakistan. May Allah give her the best of health. So I love this recipe. You just need simple ingredients. Green chili pepper, garlic, cilantro and mint and um, garlic and you guys can add some tomatoes as well. Then you add a little salt to a pesto and a mortar and you just start mixing or crushing everything up together like this. After that, went ahead and already washed the karai or the pan that I was using to cook my alu palak and the dal in so I can get that away and um, just remove that and be done with that um, out of the way. And then guys, as you guys can see, I went ahead and cut some cucumbers, some avocado, plated everything up and garnished with cilantro, added some more um, 
butter or desi ghee on top and as you guys can see the chutney is all done you guys can squeeze lime or lemon on top and oh my god guys my mouth is watering this is so good you guys have to try it and if you guys do you guys have to tag me you guys can see all my posts and pictures on my instagram knots kitchen fun and snapchat and i'd love to know what you guys think about these recipes down below you guys know I love all the yummy food from back home in Pakistan and the taste and just that cultural taste and achar and chutney and lassi and all that good stuff, guys. So you guys, I hope and pray will enjoy this as well. We had so much fun, alhamdulillah, and this was so good. Um, we just sat down and ate as a family. I hope you guys can benefit from this in Ramadan and make these for your loved ones and keep me in your du'as, inshallah. And I have a achar recipe coming up. This was from a beautiful aunt. May Allah bless her. I did not make that, but everything else was really, really good. We all enjoyed, and I hope that you all will enjoy as well. So do give this video a thumbs up, leave your thoughts down below, and take care, friends. Hope you're all safe and healthy, and I'll catch you guys in my next video right after this. Allah is.